we knew where the, we knew the hippo were loose in this area so we had we were in the, the the back areas but obviously as we've seen we had a hippo go through a very narrow keeper door but we also had wide double doors so obviously every time we went into the building we're, we're, we're bringing uh, heavy caliber rifles for protection and we're making constant assessments as to where where the hippos were we're fortunate to some extent that there was so much debris in those corridors with feed bins etc that any movement from a hippo we could see although we couldn't actually see you wouldn't be able to see a hippo if we start seeing buckets and bins move in a kind of way that don't make that doesn't make sense we we're obviously uh, would be alerted to the you fact mean that underwater like it, it was underwater is that why you wouldn't be able to see it normally well there's so much debris as you could if you if, if a hippo submerges in this you can't see them so there were times you couldn't see the hippo except for the yes, moving for objects sure. around him yes you, oh 100 percent yeah so wow. but you had to swim in to check on them is that what you said? so we were swimming in the back area the hippos were out here but we, we were having to live with the possibility that the hippos could come into that back area where we were trying to secure a giraffe. And, I, and in fact, one of our hippos did come into uh, through, a keeper, uh, through a keeper door that you would never imagine a hippo could squeeze through. Um, but that was actually how we managed to eventually secure that hippo. Well, you and others actually risked your lives then to save these animals. Me yes, yeah.